All right, peace, peace, y'all. Peace, everybody. Peace to everybody on Instagram. Peace to everybody on Periscope. Even if you're not live listening, it is recorded, so you know what's up. Peace to everybody on uh, YouTube channel. I want to give a big, big shout out real quick. Let me turn this down so I can hear myself. A big, big shout out real quick to Hot Dog. Out in Philippines, I told him I was gonna shout him out. My man Afro Black. <laughs> I say yeah. Didn't I tell y'all that Afro Black was gonna be all right? Huh? Of course, represent man and everybody else on YouTube, man. That shows uh, Infinity Corner Radio Love. Everybody on um, Facebook Live. Everybody on Instagram Live. I'm not on Facebook Live today. I'm act I'm actually trying out Instagram because I need to get my numbers up. You know what I mean? Um, also, YouTube. Um, live, not gonna be messing with YouTube live just yet. It will happen, but not just yet. We're gonna get our numbers up again, but I do make sure that the recorded portion of that is put on. So in any case today, we're gonna have Nemesis go on. As a matter of fact, let me let her know what's going on right now. I gotta let her know what's going on so she can call. Rise to tame the mind and claim the wildest jungle. Come on. Okay, let's just take it step by step. Feel artillery off words that were left unsaid. Later, bet, regret that what got me seeing red death. Yeah. Uh, take oh. And here she is. Peace, peace. Yeah. Yeah, that good? Yeah. Hey, how you doing? We good, we good. Let me turn this music down a little bit so we can be heard. How you doing? I'm good today, yeah. Beautiful out here. Look, I, I, I already said who you are, but I, I like the guests to introduce themselves and talk a little bit. We won't take up oh, too sure. much time, but go ahead and introduce yourself, Queen. Okay, hey, what's up, everybody? This is the Nemesis. Yeah, I'm a... I'm a lyricist from Los Angeles, California. And uh, yeah, I got a lot of old school connections, so I'm kind of a new jack to it, really. Right. Uh, you know, being around it, but really um, coming out now, really feel the need to put this energy into hip hop now. So, you know, coming back to infuse some power back into hip hop. There we go. And this and, and we going to I don't know how much time you got, but I definitely want to incorporate you in some discussion regarding this month of Juneteenth. Right and, up. You know what I mean? Yeah. And because you are such a powerful uh, presence in hip hop, especially wow. in L.A. I mean, it got my attention and, and seeing as Vocas del Silencio, <laughs> Voces del Silencio is the one who connected us, which is weird because they're in Colombia. Right. <laughs> right? That's crazy. We went around the world to find right. each other. Man. Right. We're the closest <laughs> together, yet somebody in Colombia was like, yo, you need need to talk to my man Doc. And I'm like, I thought maybe you was out there with him. You know what, what? I mean? <laughs> And then when I look, it's yo. like, she's in LA and, and I got I got my man Nicholas, you know, hit me up. Yo, Doc, yeah. you need to check this group out. So that's dope. That's dope. That shows <laughs> the power true. of hip hop. That shows how powerful. There it hip -hop. is. You know what I mean? Yeah. And exactly. And I, I, I caught you a bit. The first video, Queen. The first video. I was like, no, she's got. I got to get on the show. Yes, we had you. Rise to tame the mind and claim the wildest jungle. Come on. Okay, let's just take it step by step. Feel artillery off words that were left unsaid. Later, bet, regret that. What got me seeing red death? Yeah. Uh, take back all the fear and do fake it. Oh, I really appreciate you for having me on, man. And all the love and support you've been showing recently, yo. I'm honored by that. Thank you very much, Dr. Who. Oh, no, thank you, because I, I tell every artist, and I've had some big cats on here. I've had cats what? who aren't known. And to me, I don't care what kind of demographic or if your music hits me like that, you're a star in my in my heart, yeah. period. 
Oh, um, and, whoa, much love. You know, Yo, seriously. That's hip-hop love. And it's, it's funny, you know, because uh, just not too long ago, I was talking about, you know, how everybody, who's the GOAT, who's the greatest of all time. And the females aren't, I, they, I never hear the females' names. And yet, people mm. like you are blasting, you know, the, the <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You're blasting the culture with stuff that you're putting out. And it's insane. Oh, like, I mean, it's like, where are the females you. at? And so it's, it's, I'm definitely blessed to have you on the show. Um, I see some females out there, like yourself, Blimey, um, mm -hmm. Germ Free, who I believe changed her name, Reverie. A lot of these females okay. that are out there. And it seems like, mm -hmm. you know, nobody's you know, bringing, not, I don't want to say nobody, but you're not I feel you, man. You, you know what i'm saying you're not being represented like you should and you guys are putting out just as hard of material uh, as the fellas are doing do you I do you feel like that. that sense you being kind of new in into mm -hmm. the into the game do you feel like the women are being left out or is there a change mm. being made that i don't know about <laughs> Yeah, it's been, that's kind of what kept me away from hip hop for so long, right. even though I wanted, I've been, you know, I've been in cyphers, I've been rapping for a while, but to publish my work, right. I was shying away from that because I knew the atmosphere was basically sexist, unfortunately. Yes. Um, we kind of get overlooked right off the bat for being a female, um, but I've matured over time and understand that, uh, I can use any trial in life to make me better. Right, so it, right. it's always the oppressed. And we know the woman, especially the woman of color, is like the, the number one oppressed person of all time. Yes. yes. <laughs> the original oppressed person is a, a female and much more than that, a, a female of color. So mm -hmm. um, coming from that in my regular life, just growing up being a female of color and then growing up in L.A. in that melting pot, and you know a lot and in hip-hop there it being so competitive yes all of that coming together kind of taught me a few lessons um to be tougher to be sharper it yes. really helped me you know give my <laughs> get my punch lines right at a right. Uh, early on in in my doing it so i feel like every song i come out with i don't feel so wet behind the ears i feel like i kind of dialed in on exactly how i want to hit my targets because i can't just rest on well they're going to hear me because i'm hip-hop right right now i got another barrier to break through i'm i'm a female of color too so i have to kind of mm. hit harder than every man in the room <laughs> and you know that's kind of that's kind of the style my verses tend to give off is that right. i'm i'm punching yeah and <laughs> I'm it, swinging. yeah and 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 it's needed um like like you said it's definitely needed because of that and it's a shame because it shouldn't mm. have to be that way you know what i mean mm. it's been like that since i can remember the beginning of the time Sha rock and lisa lee and all them cats and then going into Word. like roxanne shantae who was i told i said before roxanne shantae was knocking dudes off the block in queens knocking them out oh yeah, you know what i mean she won that battle with krs she knocked krs yeah, out of there can, in my I, opinion. I, but Word she up. put in work and I, I hate to say it as a female Mm -hmm. She's still underrated and she's still underestimated. And yes, that in her. I knew she had, oh. it, but I didn't know she had that oh. in her. And so, <laughs> <laughs> you know, it, when you have powerhouses like that, and you still got to like fight for a position. Yeah. And even now in these days, you know, um, I'm mm -hmm. hoping that cats are, ch you know, changing it, you know, changing their outlook I'm on how females so. doing. Because, you know, you guys, mm -hmm. like I said, you know, when I saw your mm. video, when I listened to your words, you pack mm. not one punch but a combination uh, and it's it's just uh, it's amazing you know what i mean yo i appreciate that so much uh, yeah that's you remind me of a young bahamadia oh with, with, wow with, that's a high compliment yeah you remind me a young because I, I was like oh snap she's got that <laughs> that vibe not the flow <laughs> not the the, the cake but the vibe like bahamadia had that smooth just like boom and, you know, coming out of L.A. and I was like, oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> uh, finally, yes. we've been a while. We don't have a female that's trying to be too, like, cute and mousy. And we don't have one that's trying to be too hard sounding like a man. We got a right. queen sounding like a queen. And that oh. right there is dope. Yo, so, thank you so much. I, I just I have to say, that. we need a lot more of that. We don't need females trying to keep up with the dudes mm -hmm. by acting like dudes. We need females yeah. to be 
put that femininity in there, put and yet put that power in there. You know what I mean? And, yes. And, Amen. And so oh, that's sorry. the feminine, the divine feminine power. <laughs> right. It's real. <laughs> so let's give let's get a little history on you. Like when did you start get going Yo, you know, get going in the game? Yeah, I've been I grew up loving hip hop and up in LA. I grew up I'm a child of the nineties. Oh, okay. And, uh, Great. So, you know, but I reached back and kind of studied up on Rakim, right. MC Light. Those is kind of like who I regard as eternal voices of this art form. Right, right. You know, that I kind of came up admiring. So, you know, actually the first song that inspired me to rap, though, was Rob Bass, It Takes Two. Oh, <laughs> yeah. The dance is <laughs> Yeah, <anthem>. man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that just moved me. That I'm like, is. wow, this can make this can make anybody jump right here. I gotta, yes. <laughs> I gotta express myself. <laughs> that's great, right there. That's dope. Um, coming up and having, I mean, that's a lot of work too, and that's that's um, revered as being a student. You know, what I mean, being a student in hip hop mm. and doing your homework. You know, you can come oh. up and 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 do it any way you want to do, but at least go back to your homework and see like what you might need to uh, know about, you know, coming into the yeah. game or, you know, what, what what keeps the people interested and, you know, things like that. Yeah. Um, What's the culture about? Yeah, right, exactly. Mm -hmm. Learning the foundation. Yeah. So, you know, it, it's it, all about creativity. It, if you bring in something that's creative, sounds dope, and telling the truth, that's my, my little qualifier is I like music that also tells the truth, though. There you go. If it does all those, then, yo, that's hip-hop. Yes. Especially if it promotes speaks in unity, then it's true original style hip hop. Right, right, and, and and you know, there's so many different variations of you got mm -hmm. the reality. You know what I mean? You got mm -hmm. the street. You know, people telling their stories about their struggles and, and things like that. You right. got the political. We look at the public enemies, the the Parises. You know what I mean? Things like that. Oh, definitely. And, yeah. And, um, just so much. You know. Um, so much yeah there's so many angles they're all beautiful yes. and they all it came together in that golden era yeah <laughs> yeah yes yes it did yes it did um mm -hmm. come be being being in la and i think i said this before i'm i'm 52 man so i'll tell you sometimes i think the alzheimer's and dementia kicks in um being being in la with so many and I mean, LA produces, I mean, mm. a horde of just legends. You know what I mean? Um, and be, and being able to connect with people like Prince Paul and Eli, you know, mm. how do they? How do they? How do they see? Do they show like the same respect? Like I'm, I'm showing you now. Like, do you get that love? It seems like LA, for some, to me, LA shows more love to its neighbors or to its yeah. own than than anybody else. You know what I mean? You're right. I agree with that. Yes, I felt that for sure. Um, oh, man, it's been real easy to reach my L.A. heads for mm -hmm. sure. Yeah. Um, especially with that Prince Poe hit. I gotta tell you I'm African American on an application. Why I gotta have a reputation? Why you getting paper still hating? Why I had to smack the shit out you for perpetrating? You know, I really we made a real good connection with Prince Poe. We appreciate, you know, him pouring his heart out on his verse and um yes. you know, he was going through a lot of real stuff during the writing of that. And so so we benefited from catching that raw emotion and right. Man, capturing it on that song for the purpose that it had to help with, you know, mental health awareness in our community. Mm. Uh, all that energy coming together, I really appreciated that. And so, yeah, we remain tight to this day. I hope we get him back on the project. Actually, we have a couple more projects that we're about to drop. Mm -hmm. Yeah, got new material coming. And so we're hoping to get some more legends That's to work good. with us. That's going to be dope. Do you have any favorites that you're looking forward to working with that you haven't touched yet? Oh, I'm still thinking about Bahamadia. Nice. Um, MC Light. Uh, no. Um, yeah. From LA. Abstract Rude. We've been talking about wanting oh to, my to work God. with. Abstract. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes, oh, yes. But that's why I was saying mm -hmm. LA. They love their people. 
You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And they will shun you if you're not showing them respect. <laughs> they, they, they do not play That's around. Well, you got to respect. That's my city. You got, yeah, you got to do, and you, yeah, you got to appreciate that because that's that's real right there you know they take care of their own um yes they do they're loyal like that and i want to deliver for them i don't want to take that for granted and just you know fall off and put out anything Mm -hmm. (laughs) like a lot of rappers are kind of just pushing anything out right and not taking the time to be creative with it for the people who love you so much yes no i want to make that energy just increase energy now, being out, be uh, and going going with that, as far as like, <clears throat> we talked about the versatility of California artists in general. Mm-hmm. You guys are like, literally mm-hmm. the fathers of the funk. You know, what I mean, the, the fathers and and the godfathers and godmothers of the funk, and and with mm-hmm. that brings, you know, you got your, you you got your, your your Bay Area style, you got your LA style. Orange County has their thing going on, and and, and there's so many different mm-hmm. aspects of rap music when it comes to hip hop out in California <clears throat> was it did did you have an I like did you feel like you needed to settle for one style or other or were you just like yo I'm going to do mm-hmm. what I'm feeling I'm not going to worry about uh-huh. it and then hopefully you know I can get the people to be mm-hmm. you know you know receptive to what I'm doing you know like big right. up to E40 and Dre, Mac Dre and mm-hmm. all the cats and whoever's doing what and, but Nemesis, mm-hmm. I'm gonna do me. You know, did you feel word, like word. did you feel like there was like a, a, a particular um set style that you wanted or was it just something that just mm-hmm. boom, it just hit you the way? Yeah, 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 world? that's a good question. That's excellent. I mean, now I I take from so many styles, whatever I grew up with, whatever I whatever grounded me. Right. And right. uh in hip hop <clears throat> that it really was east coast hip hop honestly until mm, okay. i grew up a little <laughs> bit before i really got on to the g-funk right but right. uh what i fell in love with was you know at the mecca of it you right, know right right straight up south bronx you know yeah um but uh i i i felt that essence i'm feeling you know what comes naturally to me Good. Um, that new Jack Swing is also in my blood. <laughs> <laughs> I grew up with wow, that. That's, too. that's that, yeah, that's about the time you coming into the world. So yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that Teddy Riley. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's right. Yeah, you came in at a good era. You came in at a good time in in, in the culture. <laughs> that's for sure. Uh, uh, I, I I thank you know the culture for that. Mm-hmm. So I'm getting to take from all that. I'm even taking from Prince, Michael Jackson. I'm just. I'm feeling just what music is to me. Yes. So when I'm exploring this, getting the finally getting a track that's bomb enough to really open me up, uh, like that one merge different Nefertiti. Yeah. That oh, yeah. just helped me just explore all that soul. Um, and so yeah, I would say it's more intuitive for me. I don't have a blueprint or a certain artist I want to emulate or a certain style or region I'm tr- I'm really going after. Right. But I do know what I feel, and I just try to go deep as I can into that place. Wow! And uh, feel feel the beat and what what you know the rest is kind of history. There, there you go. Anyway, we're gonna play this joint by Nemesis Pure Order in the building, man. Y'all need to check them out, please. Big up to yeah, my peoples in Colombia versus Del Silencio who who Woo-hoo. steered them this way, man. Colombia, Bogota representing yeah. all the way can you believe that i get connected with somebody in la from somebody in columbia how does that happen yeah. only on this show man <laughs> only on this yeah. show <laughs> so big we go up infinity corner big up. thank you thank you man because without y'all this wouldn't be nothing man hey we're gonna get into this joint man pure order nemesis right here inside featuring make sure i get this right this time featuring <laughs> prince <laughs> poe y'all keep it locked y'all know what's up Doctor Who, Infinity Corner Radio, Urban Monkey in the building with Nemesis, the Queen, Pure Order, represent Los Angeles, man. Check it out. Peace. Yeah. One time for your mind. Time to rock the fog out your skull. So you can see the weird behavior similar to Sergeant Slaughter's and inner or circus for all sons and daughters to live. Woke the fact that in all life's encounters, blues all blessings on path like athletes of flowers. Symphonious, crack homes, 
concentrated remedy Tonic pharmacon of antibiotic melody To explain why the ones decent commit felonies They'll provide lyrical acrolein balancing brain chemistry Pathology of psychopathological demise PTSD disguised and not recognized Architectural design for prisons of false signs To compel submission to subliminal culture guys But it all started off with stolen innocence Like candy from a kid sick like Robin invalids Helplessly hide until the rage of brain is ripped Then wipe all causes of contingency off the grid Uncover the source wherein prosperity lies Adopting the principles of discipline that coincide With external factors and trends it collides Which prompts the research that inverts the inside Yeah, spoke up in class once to say nobody understood the language of this brain So terrified of shame, they just sent them away to Dr. Judges A way to go to survey Fascinated with dying, smash nail underfoot, no fatherly directive being bullied and abused. Shape his perspective, face slap, sacrificial cat retaliation, righteous retribution, dexter justice titillation. No relief, belief system shaking and reshaping. Think you can fix it with a pill, you're mistaken. Slash on the self soothe, self medicating. Happy children playing just increase the aching. Trench coats hide the timid body image and a semi automatic assault mission with a vengeance. Children of a lesser, dirty blast. A passer spread through society like a malignant cancer. Can't hide the truth, we caught it on the camera. And loopholes in the system might slip in faster. Nemesis Pure Order, y'all know what's up. This is Dr. Who, KONR Radio 106.1, Anchorage, Alaska. I almost forgot where I was at, man. I'm so wrapped up in the interview right now. Um, so <laughs> <laughs> Um, So, what What was the, what was the put, I know you now, you, is the album, and, and excuse me if I'm lost on this, is the album out or it's being worked on? The truth, the out, I got an EP out. Right, it's okay. what it is. The sort of belong to each other. The EP, the EP, that's five songs. Okay. Um, but that's it, and they're all produced by Ono. Nice. Um, but we got a whole album as well already on deck, which is finalizing. Okay. Um, yeah, that's gonna be a ten-song album right there. Nice. Um, yeah. Uh, Craig Digger, uh, Craig Digger's Palace connected again with uh, producer Ono. Okay, okay. And, uh, yeah, these, this is, these are going to be some next level beats. So we, we set aside this ET as like a taste tester of, you know, show a little bit of versatility of what we could do. Right, right. Um, but this album, we really uh, branding. We're trying to put the brand on our style yeah, with this yeah. upcoming one. Um, so that's what's going on. The ET is out. It's on Bandcamp now. Good, good. Um, okay, y'all heard that. Town. And we got several singles outside of the EP that are circulating now. You might have seen some posts going up of some, yes. some older songs that were recirculating <clears throat> and really making sure the heads know about them, you know, so they can complete their catalog. <laughs> <laughs> um, but uh, this fall, we're going to be dropping uh, some new, ma uh, new material off of the new album. Okay. The new album, so that's gonna be just in a few months this fall, but in a few weeks we got a brand new song dropping too. Uh, it's called On Point. Uh -huh. Another Cali producer named Prometheus. I don't know if anyone knows about Prometheus. Okay. Okay. Um, but uh, yeah, that's gonna be our next joint that we're really rolling out in a couple weeks that we're really proud of and. I think every true hip hop head will appreciate it if they like what they've heard so far. That's so, dope. That's <laughs> a, I'm sure they will. They got to. <laughs> um, I'm ordering. I now for too. sure got to get you the vinyl, man. You, I re you got that coming for sure. Yeah, definitely. Hit me with the MP3s. Anything you got? Because I'm, I know I got. I'm arranging my stream now, and it takes a lot of work because I'm really trying to arrange things so that people get the oh. full. 
the, the full yeah. experience of all the songs that he has sent, you know what I mean? Make sure that, the, yeah. you know, everybody like you and, and Nicholas and Rock Soda, mm -hmm. all those cats, man, and Jigstock, all these people that are sending mm -hmm. me stuff are getting showcased well because I got so much, wow. so much material on there right now. There's so many artists that I've collected over the years. I don't want them to drown mm -hmm. out, you know, you guys. So I'm trying to, uh -huh. I'm trying to like, organize everything on there you know and dates where you know and put i'm putting the interviews up on there showcasing that oh, it, no. it, it, it's it, it's a, it's a lot of work but i want to get it done because i'm, I'm mm -hmm. the fan base is building there across the across the globe you know britain yeah. and denmark and, and china and everybody so i gotta make sure you guys are, are sharing that i'm sharing i'm sharing you guys with the world i can't they, I, I can't that uh -huh. can't go in touch so you know i really i really yeah. thank you when you give oh, me this material you, and you man. got the drop and I get the tingles, man, you you and, and Volcas del Silencio, you know, I hear those, I'm like, man, like these are people, <laughs> these are real people, man. You know what I'm saying? These yeah. are real people. And that are, that are put out our quality music. And that's, that, you know, how, I, I, I won't say, I'll let you ask. I'll let you answer. How important is it for you to put out quality work right now and being in, 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 in a, you come from a 90s era, but we're in an, a new mm -hmm. era now where, mm -hmm. and I ask all the artists this, where it seems like there's this tug of war between mm -hmm. what's being played on the radio and what the, what the, the, I'll say it, real artists are doing. You know what I mean? And thank you, thank you, you yes. Know, what thank the real, real artists are doing. Because it's, it's, it's cool, and I'll say it, I'll be, I'll be the one to say it. It's cool if you're doing what you're doing, the trap music in the month, and, you know, and you're having fun, yeah. that's cool. But mm -hmm. then there's people who really want to hear some substance. We really want to hear some groundbreaking, yeah. Like you said, yeah. truth, strong, uplifting, spiritual-minded mm -hmm. type stuff, and that's cool. Yeah. For, you know, you want to have fun, but we need the other stuff too to balance it out. And that's not yeah. being done unless shows like mine and a lot of other shows that I see on Facebook mm -hmm. Live. All my brothers out there, all you independent radio stations out there that are doing the same mm -hmm. thing I'm doing here. That, and if you don't know who Nemesis Pure Order is, you're seeing it right now. You need to check her out. Get on your show. I'm telling you. Yeah, uh, appreciate. Yes, get on the I'm show. Here for y'all, yeah, independent <laughs> underground hip hop. Yeah, represent, and not even underground, like just straight pure hip hop culture. Period. I don't even want to yeah. say. I don't even like saying underground anymore. We're here. You know what I mean? We ain't <laughs> hiding from nobody. We might be That's overshadowed. True. We might be overshadowed by the industry cats, but we are here. That's we're awesome. we're above ground walking. We walk right past you many days. You don't even know we there because you ain't paying attention. Uh. But we there anyway. Yo, yes, don't, don't yes, let, say it, brother. Yo, amen. <laughs> don't let me put the church music on and start preaching, man. I'll get Here the... we go. I'll be stop playing the organ for you. <laughs> That's real. No, you're right. No, we ain't have. We've been pushed underground, but no, nah, you're right. We uh, walk nah, we, we are the la resistance, as as Nicholas and Rock Soda might say, la resistance. Yes. <laughs> yeah, you know I mean we're the we 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 out. Uh, listen, man, we would we would yeah. the government don't want y'all to hear, okay? That's Period. exactly right. They want y'all yeah. to be distracted by the fun and hoopla and hopping around and That's twerking. They want you to be distracted by that. But in the meantime, right? You know what I mean? In we got meantime, issues going we on. Can elevate. We, we can elevate. We can elevate ourselves. That's we don't right. have to degrade ourselves to this. I mean, no, like you, like you. I'm, I'm like you. I'm not trying to diss all trap or mumble but the lack of creativity and effort i can't let that fly and the we lack do of have education to set a bar higher right we it's a lack of education it's like when when my kids mm -hmm. are sitting in the sitting at the tv and i tell my son this he's sitting there he's playing fort you know playing fortnite or watching i'm like kyle you are <laughs> your, your brain cells are rotting right now you need to yeah. do something you know and and he's changing he's changing that he's going through some things right now that you know, I'm helping him mm -hmm. through. You know, he's a 12 year old going on 13. So it happens. I've seen it happen. Before. Oh, yeah. But um, there's so much, and I'm trying to involve myself with him with things like this. You know, say, hey, come yeah. on the show. Let's talk about your next hockey game, things like that, and the future of hockey yeah. for you. You know, things like that. And, you know, what yeah. it's like to be a 12 year old, things like that, involve him and get involved with him because mm -hmm. it's important. Um, but. Yeah. That's great, it, the, great we're, work. We're missing the education with some of these young people. I don't want to say all of them because I see them out there doing their thing, but we're missing the educational mm -hmm. part in music that we used to have yeah. back in the day, you know. Yeah, and, that era where we were educated and we was a party into it. Right, it was danceable right. and it was You can smart. do both. You can do both. <laughs> Thank you. 
Yes. We That's can what do I'm both of them. Come on. You can educate and have fun. You can you can yeah. drop it like it's hot and not wear a bikini. <laughs> Thank you. you. You know what I mean? It was, it was being done back in the day. We was doing this back in the day. Yeah. Man. Girls was doing yeah. it. You know, they was bouncing it like it was hot, but they wasn't doing it in like, mm -hmm. you know, painted on jeans. And, you know what I mean? They was yeah. doing it with it's style. That. It was style. Yeah. You, know, you ain't got to be half naked. You ain't got to get body mm -hmm. modifications and get your booty all blown up out of proportion. And it's not necessary. You don't need 40 wigs yeah. in the closet. Be yourself. <laughs> Wear natural. Wear natural. Man. It's all good. I'm yes. Just, I'm just saying. Big up to all my natural ladies. Yes. Gentlemen. I love an afro, man. My wife got crazy mm. hair. She's got <laughs> long hair. She's Filipino. She's got long hair. And she, baby, can I uh, cut it? Where? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's long. And she, baby, my can I cut Filipino it? Filipino, too. Oh, yeah? <laughs> yeah. My, my mom's side. She, oh, snap. Okay. My wife is listening right now. She's probably got a fist in the air. Like, yeah. That's <laughs> <laughs> right. Oh, it's always like that with Filipinas. Oh, yeah. So, okay. Yeah, tell the family to listen to me. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, I told I said, yeah. You know, I said, I got, I got, I got Queen Nemesis on the day representing the females. <laughs> I always like to represent the females. You know, guys, oh, you might represent them one that. way. But when it comes to the culture, whether mm -hmm. it's b-boying or graffiti or, or, or MC and a DJ and Lady X, big up the Lady X and all them, all them females out there um, that I mm -hmm. see on Facebook and then that's doing their thing. Yes. Uh, again, you guys are always put in the back. You don't want to be put mm -hmm. in the back no more. Come see me. I'm mm -hmm. telling you, I'm gonna make sure that, that I'm gonna make sure that people know what's going on because it's uh, it's not the, the females are doing work. They're doing work and they're making guys look stupid. And I think <laughs> I'm gonna say it. Nemesis is right here. I'm going to say it. The reason why I think a lot of guys is put them in the back because they don't want to be put mm. to shame. So you put them in the uh -oh. back. You don't put them in the back because you don't want them to be seen. You know, you don't want your, your image tarnished. Ooh. And I'll say it, but hey, I got to ride with the truth. I got to ride with I got to ride with the females like I ride with the fellas because, you know, mm. it's it's mm -hmm. it's equal on the playing field over here. You know what I mean? I love that. Appreciate I'm, that so much. No, That's how it hey, should be, Dr. Who. I appreciate like that. you appreciate it because it's facts. It's just straight mm. facts. And people have to recognize that. They gotta stop underestimating the woman, the, the power of the female. You guys are mm. you guys are the reproductive uh, force behind humanity. <laughs> you know what I mean? Preach now. You're yes. the reproductive force behind humanity. So period. Um anyway, yeah, yeah. man, y'all uh, hey, hey. <laughs> Let's so, yeah. Wow, we on the same wavelength, man. This is amazing to connect to a true one like yourself. I'm, I, 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 I try, Queen. I really try to just be myself because you. I'm, I'm gonna be honest. You can be sucked up into mm -hmm. the the propaganda um, that is produced through media outlet. You, you can, mm -hmm. and I'm not. I'm no. I'm no. Uh, different than anybody else. I see myself sometimes. I get wrapped up in something. You gotta like. You gotta be strong enough to yank yourself out, or at least have uh, a uh, a supportive force behind you. In this case, my family, who can pull you out of it and remind you that you mm. are you. You are not them. You need to do you. And yeah. and so, um, you know, it, it's it's important that we you recognize that it's like a, it's like an alcoholic. The first rule in alcoholism is admitting that you have a problem. Yeah, okay. and with hip hop, with 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 uh, with life in general, period. I have to understand that I too am uh, just as capable of being a uh, a not even a victim, but a being or being sucked into that idea that is mm -hmm. plastered across the world now, but America yeah. as far as what beauty should be. Um, what status should be? What kind of car you should drive? What kind of clothes you yeah. should wear? You know what I mean? How yeah. you should hide your head? You, yo, if you ain't rocking the new Jordans, you ain't nobody. That's garbage. <laughs> yeah. Just make sure we we Word. make sure we understand that because I've never ever bought a pair of Jordans. I have at least at least twelve pair of Converse in the closet right now. Maybe a couple of <laughs> Nikes and Adidas. And I'm gonna tell you, I don't go to Foot Locker unless I'm looking for a bargain. I go to Burlington. Period. And I still look oh. good. <laughs> <laughs> Boom! You little crazy brother. That's, that's what it is. Why buy a pair of <laughs> shoes for one hundred eighty dollars when I can go get five pair for the same price? You kidding me? Same get same. out of here! Get Come out of here! With that y'all bugging. Anyway, it's <laughs> 
I mess around, I'll start making my own clothes, man. Don't play with me. Hey. You, sure, you sure could. <laughs> yep. You got the power. That's You're probably right. more creative than any of these designers. And exactly. And the thread and the needle hmm. only cost two dollars over at Joanne. So stop playing. <laughs> hey. uh, <laughs> love it. I love it. So what is next uh, for you, Pure Order Nemesis? What's, what's, what, what should we expect next? More work? Um, have any other plans, anything like that, that you got going on, videos, anything that we should be looking out oh, for? Oh, definitely. Oh, thanks for asking. Yeah, we do. We're rolling out uh, the next single on this album uh, that's coming out. We have two videos that are in production. Uh, nice. for Warrior Love and for Affinity, which Affinity is the new joint that we're trying to uh, get played right now. Oh, okay. On, uh, it's playing on Nationwide College Radio. Wow. So, uh, you know, I think I might have sent it to you. Let I'm, me know. I was about uh, to say, did I get that one? I, I believe I do. <laughs> I think I sent you the whole EP, so yeah, yeah I it's, believe it's I, I be sure on there. Yep, um, I believe you did. If so, not, I will get it from you, but I'm sure you did. I got such a okay. mess going on on my drives. I need to clean them up. <laughs> oh, no problem. Yeah, no, let me work. know. You got it. And um, so that's what, you know, that's the new one right now that we really, we drop, we're rolling it out. We're going to get vinyl for it. Uh, that's all, that's up on Bandcamp as well. Word. And SoundCloud, any, all major platforms uh, for streaming um, and, and on YouTube. So, you know that's that's what we're doing. We're just going to keep putting joints out, keep making our presence in hip hop felt if we can. Hopefully to to give positivity to our community again. Right, right. And uh, just keep rolling them out. Keep videos coming out. So um, in a few weeks we'll be seeing a couple more videos. Dope. Uh, Dope. Yeah. That's crazy. That's Lining a lot up of work. some shows in Southern California. Some uh, shows in San Bernardino. Ooh. Riverside, Los okay. Angeles as well. Oh, and Oxnard, I can't forget the OX. Oh, wow. God gives folks hometown. I, so, I, yeah. I got to ask, what are the, I, I mean, I remember back in the day what going to, to hip hop shows were like in LA, and there's nothing like it. There's nothing like it. How is the vibe For now? Sure. Is it kind of like the same as it was back in the day? You still get that love and those people coming in and just like that. Mm. I miss it's that energy. It's time to come back. I'm feeling it come back. There was a couple really nice festivals this summer mm -hmm. in Los Angeles that, you know, I saw cats really being supportive of the, of the you know, the classic hip-hop. Right. And the, the culture of it being love, peace, unity, creativity, and having fun. Right. That, I was seeing a lot of that starting to creep up, you know, and be yeah. more, a little bit more widespread. So it's, a, there's a consciousness. Okay. Coming okay. back to the uh, Southern California area, I'm so happy of that. I'm trying to get really pushed that wave if I can. Right. See, you know, more music coming out so we can get on that wave and yeah. maybe spread it more. But now, uh, I think the scene is nice. We need a couple more. They're not like back in the day. It's a little clubby at oh, the same time. Okay. Okay. You know, it's a little clubby. But here and there, there's. There's the, the the real heads are starting to kind of come together come and try to throw these festivals that are starting and, to look good. And that's probably what you because back in the '90s, even in the early, even in 2000, from 2000 up, there mm -hmm. was like you couldn't go anywhere and there not be, uh, you, there, there not be like uh, Jurassic Five or you know right. uh, freestyle fellowship shows or. You know, uh, mm -hmm. it, like it, they were everywhere. They were all over the and, place. You know what yeah, I mean? Flyers would pop up. People. Right. Dial right. Dilated. All these cats, man. Mm -hmm. You know, the, the uh the alcoholics, you know, Taj and all these yeah. cats, like everybody, Lords and Lord uh Souls of Mystery. I mean they were all these shows were happening all, all over LA. Like we couldn't stop going to them. Sometimes they'd be back to back. <laughs> you know what yeah. I mean? They would be back to back. And if you were lucky and you knew people who were running these shows, you could bounce in and out without having to pay ten dollars a head every single time you got to the door. <laughs> so, you know <laughs> you know, you try yeah. to make friends with the bouncer, you try to make friends with the bartender, you know what I mean? Get them drink tickets, you know, do <laughs> get your Heineken sure. at the bar, you know what I mean? It, it, it was it was lovely. I, I, I would love to see that. I think that yeah. you're right, having those heads come back together and bring that back. The, I, I bet you the crowd mm -hmm. is out there, they're waiting. They're waiting for the re for the to, for the reorganization of, of of that group of people to bring that stuff back out there. Because 
I can under, I mm -hmm. understand exactly what you're saying when you say the clubby part because LA has mm -hmm. both has both the best of both worlds. So you know you have your underground set, but you have your clubby set. And if the underground yeah. isn't producing as much, people are gonna resort. They're gonna end up going to yeah. whatever is available, which is gonna be the club scene, which isn't bad. Yeah, but absolutely. you know, right. you know, we miss that. We like that boom bap stuff going. So. There you go. Yeah, that's what it is. Yeah, we love that stuff. Mm. You know, I just, uh, mm -hmm. man, I miss it. That's crazy. Anyway, I got one more song I'm going to play, Nemesis, and then uh, you're welcome right. to, you know, you're welcome to stay. I want to talk about Juneteenth, Juneteenth and, and the things that have been going on. We got we got McConnell bugging out about reparations. Uh, we got, uh, <laughs> <laughs> serious, I mean, he gets the Derp Award of the day. Y'all know I got the Derp Award every week. He gets the derp award. He gets the derp award this week. Um, we had the issue with uh, with the the Central Park Five and Trump's, you know, yeah. unapologetic gesture. Um, something he had done back in the day. He said he didn't feel the need to apologize for. As well as the attorney at, uh, at that time who was trying to prosecute the five, <clears throat> um, and basically tried to play the victim about how you know she you know, lost and, and, you know, left everything and people started dropping her because of her actions back then. Uh, what else? We mm -hmm. had the family who was literally assaulted over in Arizona. I don't know if you heard about this, Nemesis. Did you hear about that oh, one? We're going to nah, talk about that too. So if you got, you got time, you want to stick around and, and put your, put your quarter in. <laughs> <laughs> You're more than welcome. Yo, but, uh, I might have a couple more minutes, man. Yeah, I gotta there you go. get going in a few, though. But yeah. Oh no, I'll, yeah, I'll, you you do your thing. You do your thing. Um, but anyway, uh, any 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 shout outs, anything you want to do before we get into this next song? Yeah, definitely shout out to God's gift, uh, the other half of Pure Order. Word, word. Um, shout out to you, Doctor Who, keeping hip hop alive. Uh, just end to end your radio show just like song after song true hip hop back to back I, I'm trying. we don't get that it's rare to have that thank you for that yes thank you thank you guys oh, that, 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 Shout out. That, that stream couldn't happen unless I had people like you guys getting stuff to me and just like boom and building up there's thousands thousands of songs mm -hmm. on there including yours and awesome. <clears throat> literally and it's just I try to keep it as as consistent as possible so i thank you because you just added more uh -huh. onto that plate so you know anything oh, you good. anything you have even if you if it's uh like I, this interview will be on there so you guys make sure you, you get tuned in on TuneIn mm -hmm. radio look for the infinity uh -huh. and you'll see you'll hear this on there if you missed it um and you know definitely for just what you do seriously mm. for what you do Thanks. because i couldn't be more excited to have, have you on this show to the point where big up to MJ Hip Hop Connects, I had to put. I told MJ who gets most of my people on the show. I said, "Hey, I mm -hmm. need I need a break. Give me two weeks. I need two weeks because I got her. I got Nemesis and a young buck that'll be on the show next week on here. Oh. I got to get them on here <laughs> before you flood me with more people, which I love. Yeah. Let me get these people on. Squeeze them in real quick, and then we'll continue. And she's like, "No, no problem, Doc. You let you give me a date." So. <laughs> Yeah, I said, I said, no, no problem. I'm gonna get you a date, and we gonna we gonna get Pop and all them other cats on here. And so you know, it's all Word. good. So I really appreciate you. your time. I really appreciate what you do. Keep doing it, and please keep me in the loop. Oh, keep me definitely. In the loop. And if I'm definitely. ever in LA, and I know you got a show, just look for the dude yeah. with the giant earrings and beads. You, you can't miss me. Trust me. Oh, yeah. Oh, that will make my show, man. Okay. <laughs> we try. I'm going to hold you to that one, man. Oh, yeah. Hopefully this year we're going to travel out there and, 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 you know, check. So hopefully if you got a show going on or something, I'm going to let you know when we hit when we land in LAX and say, hey. Okay. <laughs> we here. Where is it? That's it. Oh, dope. <laughs> I gotta, got you. Even if we just go out for coffee and chill, you know what I mean? Bring the yeah. family out there and just chill. It, it'll be dope. You and my wife can, you That'll know. That'll be lovely. Yeah. <laughs> I and my wife make you some the giant lumpia she makes. Oh, <laughs> oh, now you got my heart. Yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to have to get, get you. So I'll be like, hey, we got we to gotta take a platter down there. <laughs> oh, that's some Tupperware ready man. for pure order. Anyway, I, I know <laughs> I know you said you got things to do. So um uh, again you, thank you, thank you, Queen. Y'all know what's uh, up. Y'all look for the music on the show. Uh, make sure you go to, mm -hmm. to the Infinity Corner Radio on tuneinradio.com. Look for it and you will hear it on there. 
Um, big up the Voss cast. Four years right now running with them and they never let me down. And to tune in radio mm -hmm. also. And, and big up to you. Big up to you and people like you and y'all keep it moving and let us know while you're moving so we don't Ooh. miss the ride. Oh, thank you. You got it, man. Keep you in the loop. Updated. Definitely. Everybody keep checking out Infinity Corner Radio Show. Word up. Thank <laughs> you. Thank you so much, Queen. It's been good talking uh, to you. We will talk again. Okay. For sure. All right. Thank, thank you again. Thank and, you. Uh, you know, enjoy the rest of your show, man. I'm about to tune in. Spot, getting plenty props, cause I'm weak, Cali, any hot Till my body rides, it ain't running up, I spray them down Like the body shop, finger bangs just hit with four fingers Like karate chop, I'm bragging more than you imagine To the non-factors and sagging, cause we still getting Spelling everything backwards, sometimes I forget lines Like gold-plated actors, so I guzzle a 50 act Till I regurgitate